tell you, I've been called away on a special mission. I've been called away to go defend something that I believe in. I will be gone. I don't know when I'll be back. This might just be my last video. I'm tired of trying to say something positive. And I only started just from, from a handful of people made me believe that, that I could talk to people and try. Maybe, maybe somebody will listen. Maybe somebody will think differently. But all I get back in response is negativity. People can't see or understand what somebody has just said. And you get tired of all the negativity. No matter who it comes from, no matter who say what they say, no matter if they black, white, it's all the same. You know, hate is hate for a reason. When people hate you, it's because maybe somebody can understand. If someone can, can understand you, somebody cannot understand them. Their way is always the right way and you are always wrong. Perspective is how our society is based. It's not what you got. It's what people think you got when they look at you and they make comments. Certain comments hurt and everything hurts when people say it in a negative tone, meaning negative things. It's sad when you're cursed out by children on Xbox 360. It's sad when, when somebody calls you nigger then you go to their channel and saw Pokemon. It's sad when you face different kinds of racism. This is this is cyberspace. This is YouTube. And it's like it's it's, it's pitiful to, to believe that with all this technology, all people can do is look and assume that one person is something based on what they think or they believe one person may be. Please do not stereotype me because I look a certain way. Do not stereotype me because I don't speak like everyone else do. Don't stereotype me because I say things that you don't agree with. Don't stereotype me because I agree with you, but you don't think that you can agree with me from the same perspective. How can you say that this is a free world, that everybody in America can be happy? You can't be happy. Try to say something positive in every sad thing you see on YouTube. The things you see on YouTube are not the things that these people see on regular TV. There's one thing about YouTube that I've learned. You do not know who is watching your videos. It is sad when you receive Pitiful negative statements from children. Pitiful, sad, racist, heart-wrenching statements from children. And then all of a sudden, the people saying that you're wrong when you say something. You're wrong by thinking that all these girls that, that beat up on that one girl should go to jail. You're wrong with saying that the little girl that was raped on the bus should have her day in court. You wrong for everything you said that was positive. AIX was wrong in thinking that there's enough people out there in America that would actually think other than beyond the nose in front of their face. And for one time in these videos, I am trying not to say something negative or curse because that would make me look niggerish. Please understand, I'm not a professor, I'm not a TV doctor, I'm a regular human being who has one point of view, and the only point of view I have is the one I was raised with, the one that I grew with the environment around me. My country made me the person that I am, and for that I do not get to speak. Why must every time somebody try to say something positive about negative situations to uplift children, uplift the handicapped, the blacks, the white, the Mexicans, 
someone says something in a manner to where you think, oh my God, it's just this black guy blabbering. Well, it's sad to believe that when someone says something positive and is taken in a negative manner, how many more people will fall behind that negative tone? It's like a domino effect. They still hide behind masks. They be hide behind youth. Their whole perception of honesty, justice, and fairness is based on the way they see things. A funnel vision brought to us by our captors. You can believe what you believe, and you can be who you are. But don't say nothing positive about nothing. Because you get negative, that brings you down. It's saddening to believe that sometimes people don't really give a damn whether you exist or not. They'd rather call you names than say, okay, I can agree with that, but I don't go agree with your color. They can say things to hurt you just because they know they can hurt you and get away with it. Why is that? It is only magnified one man's words, but not the hateful reply. And for that, I go on this mission wholeheartedly. And I will see you later. And for then, all those who know me know one thing. And one thing I'm going to say about everything around me. The universe, our own galaxy, even us. Right or wrong, good or bad, we have all, we have all been tuned. I'm coming, Midnight Rider. I'll meet you on the other side, brother. And we'll see what the world got coming, baby.